Hello guys, welcome back to my vlog. It is Tuesday. We are in the fourth week of Ramadan, which sounds so crazy to say. I can't believe there's only like four days left of Ramadan. So I am in the spirit to do some Eid shopping, some Eid preparation, um, and make some Eid treats. I'm just in the mood to just get Eid started. So I actually just got almost all of my Eid shopping done. I will take this back inside and share with you guys exactly what I got because I'm so excited. I normally don't get a ton of gifts for my family. I usually do like smaller gifts, but this year I just really wanted to spoil my family. So I have a pretty big family. I have six in my immediate family, then I have two nephews and I have two cousins that I'm really close with and an aunt. So all together, there's about like 10 people. So it can get really expensive. So I used this app to help me budget and make sure I don't go over my spending. The app is called Clio. The app is right there. If you guys aren't familiar, it's basically an AI powered budgeting app that helps you track your spending. It helps you build credit. It helps you save automatically and has so many great features. So thank you to Clio for sponsoring this portion of the video. I used the app to help me track this month's spending and oh my god, you guys, I am so embarrassed. I spend an average about three to four thousand dollars on just like shopping, retail, um, just shopping and I was so shocked like it's really really embarrassing and I'm so glad that I can see it here and this app will help me stay under my budget it has like this roasting feature which is so funny so basically you set your limits you say like I don't want to go over this much money and I want to spend this much in this category so I said like for shopping I don't want to spend over a thousand dollars a month so if I spend over a thousand dollars there's an option to click roast you because it is AI powered and basically it feels like you're talking to somebody there will be somebody on the other screen saying like what is wrong with you it will give you a good reality slap back into saving mode honestly it's been such an enjoyable experience using the app because it's not so serious like all the other financial budgeting apps this one i feel like i can relate to a little bit more so if you guys want to check it out i will put my link down below so you guys can check it out but i'm going to quickly run inside the grocery store i want to get a few ingredients to make this treat that i saw online that looked so yummy i found the marshmallow cream that you want to get it's the one from jet puffed this marshmallow cream has no gelatin so if it focus yeah it has no gelatin so this one's good to go so i'm getting three of them because i want to make a couple more uh, next week um so i'm getting that i'm also getting this tray because i feel like i don't have a proper tray and then for the cereal i have the rice crispy cereal i picked up the knockoff brand because this one doesn't have high fructose corn syrup and the other one did um or well it had this one doesn't have artificial flavors and preservatives but the other one did so picked up these two and that's pretty much it i'm making the rice krispie treats now and i'm also recording it as a reel so first step on medium heat add three tablespoons of butter and let that melt butter is already melting and now i'm going to go ahead and add the entire jar of marshmallow cream the marshmallow cream is melting you want it to become like this kind of consistency um, and then you can fold in your Rice Krispie Treats. I moved over the marshmallow cream and now I'm just going to pour in the Rice Krispie. You want to fold it in gently and at first it will be easy but as you add in more Rice Krispie Treats it will get a little bit harder. But just work through it. I folded it all in and this is what it should look like. I used 6 cups of Rice Krispie Treats. I'll link down below the recipe that I'm following. I got off of Pinterest. But okay, now we're ready to put it in the pan. So here is my pan and you want to make sure you grease this. Okay, I poured in the Rice Krispie Treat and now you want to make sure you just press it in really, really firmly so that way they stick together. The trick here is to use a spatula because it'll help it lay flat and the spatula won't stick. I already cut out a few cookies just to test it out. So the biggest tip I have for you guys is to make sure that the marshmallow tree is fully cooled and really well pressed in so it doesn't fall apart. So I'll show you guys how I do it. So I'm just pressing it in, making sure it's really, really compact and tight. So all you do is take your cookie cutter and press it in. Shake it a little so it breaks apart from the others. And then just punch it out gently and look at that it's so perfect it's so cute 
Okay, we're going to try a star now. The stars are a little bit tricky because of the edges. You have to be super, super careful. So there goes the star one, shaking it around a little bit. We'll bring it here and see if it comes out. Start with the edges. Try to pull the edges apart first. Okay, not bad. I find with the stars, you kind of have to like mold it into shape a little bit afterwards. So like that one is a little bit wonky. Okay, not bad, look how cute. And then with this that's remaining, just press it back in together and I find that it's working. So you can you reuse this. Now, and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. So not everything I bought today, a few things I already had, so I'm gonna be gifting it to like my family, which I know they won't mind because they love stuff like this. So the first thing are hot hijabs. This is going to be for my mom this is they're both actually brand new these are their new satin scarves um i have one that's already open so let me show you guys so hot hijab came out with these gorgeous satin scarves and i know my mom is going to be all over this so i got one for her in a cream color and i know she's going to love wearing this with her jc clothes so i have that for her and then i also have um a couple other hijabs i already had this at home to be honest but I know she's gonna love it because she loves wearing my hijab. So I got this for my mom. And then I got something for myself because why not? I have to spoil myself too. So I got two sleeves of Nes Nespresso pods. Um, they were out of my favorite flavor. So I just picked up two new ones that I'm gonna try. So I got that. Then I got something for my little sister. Okay, let me tell you guys something about her. She goes through all of like my makeup, my clothes, my skincare, and she just uses everything and it's one of my biggest pet peeves like I just don't want her to touch my stuff so I always end up buying her her own things so one of the things that she's been like reaching for recently is my Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum I use this at night to get rid of like dark spots and she just wants it so I picked one up for her so I got this for her this is so pricey so she's just getting one gift so I got that for her um, and then I got something for my older sister. So for her, I got the New Face device. I've been raving about this. Um, I have like their facial toning device and I feel like it works wonders. It works really, really well on my face. So I got the line smoothing one for her. So you can use it, yeah, you can use it like pretty much under your eye, around your mouth area, near laugh lines. And I thought this was like a good small gift to give her. So I got this for her. And then for my nephews, I actually ordered um, just like a few like toys and stuff with them. It is so hard and tricky to shop for them because they break everything, they throw everything, and they just want something new like every other week. So we just got like as a family, we got a ton of small, small gifts. So it looks like I only have a little here, but they'll end up with like 30 gifts. Um, so for a smile, I got him some Spider-Man shoes because he is obsessed with Spider-Man. Um, so I got him <laughs> these blue and red ones. I don't know what my sister is going to say about them because they are so bright. She's going to be like, why did you buy these? Um, because she likes to keep his outfits pretty, like, not toddler looking. But I got him those. And then let me grab Isa's gift. Okay, Isa is obsessed with Beyblades. He has, like, 500 of these. Literally, no joke. This is probably the 10th one I bought him. But he wanted another one. And I was like, okay, if that's what you want. So I got him Beyblades. So that's what I have so far. Oh, and then for my brother... Um, he wanted um, a table and a microphone. I guess he's starting YouTube. I don't know what he's doing, but I ordered it off of Amazon. So I'll quickly show you guys that. He wanted this table, so I ordered that for him. And then he also wanted a microphone. So let's see. This is the microphone. That's the microphone. So yeah, that's what he is getting. But yeah, all I have left is my aunt, my um, two cousins, and my dad. My dad is so hard to shop for, you guys. Like, he doesn't accept any gifts. He's always like, I don't need it. You guys keep it. Don't spend your money. Typical dad, right? So sweet. But yeah, um, I think for my cousins, I'm just going to do like gift cards. They love Chick-fil-A and like Starbucks. I'm thinking like Starbucks and Chick-fil-A gift cards. Okay, I wanted to try on a couple e-dresses that I got in to show you guys some options. I know it might be a little bit too late to shop them, but I still wanted to share in case you guys want to shop for the next Eid um, or just keep this brand in mind. So these dresses are from Pador. This is not sponsored, but they did kindly gift me these dresses. And I'm just like obsessed with this brand because they have the most 
those gorgeous, elegant, I feel like Eid appropriate dresses. They're more like in a bias style maxi, but they're so elegant and I feel like they would look perfect for Eid prayer. Um, so this is the first dress. I love this color. This color is beautiful. It's a gorgeous, like muted, subtle mint um, dress. I love the sleeves. Um, and it hits me right at my ankles and I have on some heels. The detailing on this dress is so gorgeous. It has like this silver applique. I don't know, it's just stunning. So this is the first dress. This is the next dress. This one is so, so stunning. I feel like this color is so me. It's this really light beige ivory champagne colored dress that has like this gorgeous detail so the sleeves on this dress are fully decked out all the way from the front to the back so gorgeous i love the little scallop detailing at the bottom and then it has a ton of gorgeous work here at the top so stunning on and then it has the same tie waist thing so you can make it as fitted or as loose as you want and yeah it hits my ankle as well okay. this is the last dress it's definitely the most bright and bold one out of the three but i thought i wouldn't like this one and i actually love it i think it's so pretty i love the floral colorful um sleeves it has like these gorgeous embroidery on it um and then the dress is similar to all the other ones with the little tie waist over here you can also ditch the tie waist thing if you don't want to wear it but so stunning. I do want to say the last two are a little bit see-through, but this one is a thicker um, silk material, so this one is not see-through at all. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing the same heels. These heels I will link down for you guys as well. I've had them for like two years now, and I wear them every single time I try to dress up. Um, they're just a really good pair of heels. But yeah, I just wanted to share these dresses because they're so gorgeous. And I this is the reality. Right when I'm done sharing with you guys the outfit, I get back into my pajamas. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going gonna vlog tonight for my Ramadan routine so I'm gonna share with you guys my iftar and my routine for another odd night and a Zarawi. I just want to make sure I get in a couple more like Ramadan routine vlogs because they were so enjoyable and since it's the last few days of Ramadan I just want to like savor them. So that is all for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me getting prepared for Eid. My next video will be um, a Eid desserts recipe that are Indian. So Indian dessert recipes um, I got my mom to help me and we made some really really good recipes and then I'm also doing a makeup look. So if you guys are ever wondering how I do my makeup it will be in that video so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one bye